What up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today I just want to do a little channel update. We have some very exciting news that I want to share with you guys. So let's kick it off. First things first, I want to thank each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart because we did it. We hit 1,000 subscribers in my first full year on YouTube and I could not have done it without you guys. So for that, I say thank you. So, from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of you guys. And if you're new here, go hit that subscribe and that little bell icon and come join the channel because I love interacting with you guys down in the comments. Second order of business, I want to send a huge shout out to Saddleman for sending me this tactical BR1800 bag. As you can see, this bag has a lot of stuff going on and it is very dynamic. It's a very like high bird like bag. This bag can do a lot of things that I don't even know at this time. So I'm looking forward to using this bag and catching back up with you guys on exactly what all this stuff does because there is a lot going on here and I cannot wait to take some trips and get to use this bad boy. But let's do a quick little overview of this bag. So as you see here, we got some straps up top for like a towel or a, a cover, whatever you can think of. We have like a little sunglass pouch right up front. You could either, you know, throw your sunglasses or chapstick or your wallet, pack of gum, something of that nature in there. And then moving right along underneath here, you got some buckles. You can open this up. Got that little flap. Got a zipper. We have a nice little storage compartment up there, which that would be nice for like a pair of shoes or something. So that way you guys can keep it away from your normal clothing. So that's nice. You got some side pockets, here, which the other side's gonna be about the same. You also get a little back pouch. And then on the back, this is a little backrest that comes along. So if you put this over your sissy bar, your passenger can still have a comfortable backrest. So that's nice because if you guys have a luggage rack and a sissy bar, you don't really have to worry about this thing going anywhere at all. And then they also include other straps and such um, to further strap it down. And you have these rods and stuff that you can adjust the tightness of the backrest pad to help reinsure that it is not gonna go anywhere. You got some side pouches. You got some nice little D-rings to help secure the bag down or use for whatever. These side bags expand because you got some nice little storage in there. Little mesh pocket. Again on the front, like I said, this is a tactical bag. So you have all these little loops that you could hook whatever you want. Use your creative imagination for that. The front pouch. This is a nice little pouch that you could, you know, hang keys, some pens for your wallet, whatever you guys can think of. It's a nice little storage area there. And then again, we have a side strap with a little mesh pocket. Another little pouch here you could use. And then moving on to the main cord. I like this because you have these little straps here on the side to kind of hold it open. But at the same time, you can unbutton these and unvelcro, and then the whole thing will flip back. You have a nice little place up there to possibly put some toiletries or such. This bag comes equipped with a rain cover from Saddleman, so that's pretty nice because then you don't have to worry about your bag getting soaked. You have a little pouch back here for a tablet or a mini laptop. As you see, this has some decent depth for being a smaller bag. You also have some mesh pockets on the side. This also comes with a backpack strap, which is pretty nice. So when you get to wherever you're going, you can hook it up and just wear it as a backpack. So that's pretty convenient. And then you get a nice little instruction manual, which kind of just tells you what all the different straps 
and such are for and how to use everything. So I didn't really look at this yet, but I'll have to. And then with the instruction manual, you have all kinds of pads and straps to further secure this bag onto your bike. So again, this is the Saddleman BR1800 bag. Again, a huge shout out to Saddleman for sending me this bag. I cannot wait to try it out. And for you guys, if you're looking at this and saying, I love the bag, but it looks a little too small, don't worry. I'll have this bag linked below, but I'll also have Saddleman's website linked with their travel bags in general because th they make the same version of this bag, but in a bigger form. Um, that's something that I didn't necessarily need a lot bigger of a bag. I'll be fine with something compact like this. But if you guys are looking for a bigger bag, don't be discouraged. Check out their website in the links down below because they do make significantly bigger bags than this one. And while you're there, you might buy a new seat for your bike. Who knows? But this bag leads me to something else. So in less than one week when you guys are watching this video, because this video will be released on Sunday, June 5th, in less than a week, I will be attending Laconia Bike Week in Laconia, New Hampshire for my first time ever. It is the 99th annual motorcycle rally, and I am very excited to be able to go this year. And that's also why I am showing you guys this bag because I will be using this bag on my trip to Laconia. So I'll be getting into this bag pretty in depth with what I'll be using it for. So stay tuned for a updated video on this travel bag. So I'll be in Laconia Bike Week from June 11th to June 14th. I will be there just for a couple days. Like I said, this is my first time ever going. So I need help from you guys. Comment down below places to see places to eat and things to do because I'm a newbie there so I want to make this the best trip possible so if you guys have any places for me to eat check out travel to please comment down below while I'm in Laconia I will be trying to document this trip to the best of my abilities from day one to day four so stay tuned like I said if you're not subscribed Go hit subscribe, go hit that bell icon because I'm going to try to give you guys some pretty cool content coming up. One of the big things that is on the agenda for Laconia this year is I want to tackle Mount Washington. I believe it's the tallest in elevation mountain on the East Coast. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure about that. I just need help from you guys. Give me some other places that are free places that aren't too far from the actual main event, please guys, comment down below if you've been there and hook me up. So, with that being said, I know this was a little bit of different video, but I just wanted to thank each and every one of you guys. And also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please go do yourself a favor and follow me on there because I only post videos, as you guys know, once a week but I am more actively on Instagram. So go give me a follow. It will be down below. Follow me on Instagram, Moto Head Kyle, and I'll be having stories along the way leading up to the YouTube video. So go give me a follow on there. I greatly appreciate it. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, ride safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!